Five well-known scientists from Japan, Russia, the USA and Switzerland are going to be reporting today exclusively and together on the experience that they have had and the current views of nuclear power as a source of energy. You're going to be welcomed by Professor Dr. Richard Ernst from the ETH Zurich, from the Federal Institute of Technology. He's a Nobel laureate for chemistry and he won the award in 1991. Today's event is under his patronage. So could I ask you please to give Dr. Ernst a big hand? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to address you here in these famous rooms that I know so well to talk to fellow minded people from the Green Liberal Party and to extend a word of welcome to you. We academics, we don't always run round with our beliefs written across our foreheads in capital letters. But if you ask everyone in this room what his or her view is, then I'm pretty convinced that the thinking of the Green Liberal Party is in each and every one of us. And I believe that everyone with common sense is going to have to arrive at the conviction that any other attitude is going to be in, mean that it will be impossible for us to have a future. Now, we know that risks are part of human existence without a willingness to take risks. The technological and social um, achievements of recent centuries would never have happened. But there have always been risks which individuals have showed to themselves and risks for which individuals felt responsible and risks indeed for which they could have been called to account. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Activity on the stock exchange is a similar activity, a, a typical example of this activity. Um, uh, by investing money in the stock exchange, you can become um, uh, wealthy or lose everything. Every one of us has a free choice. But sometimes the damage done is greater than the resources available. And what happens is a disaster. A disaster for those, uh, for a disaster for which we look to a higher power to intervene, and the higher power is normally the state. But all the safety systems that we have have a finite safety tolerance. And if we demand too much of that tolerance, too much of these systems, what happens is a disaster. If the person responsible can no longer be called to account for himself or herself, if they are threatened in their existence, then that leads to a situation of global emergency beyond control. Situations of this nature, you'll be familiar with them, of course. Basically, we can have natural events such as earthquakes, erupting volcanoes. We need to have state institutions there who try and offset the tremendous consequences, even if no individual can be made directly responsible for natural disasters. Solidarity demands of us that we should support those in need, even if we're not directly responsible. However, what about responsibility if the event, however, has been caused simply by arrogance, by maliciousness, or by an excessive profit drive by individuals or by groups of the population. What happens then? And that is something that happens far too frequently today. Events of this nature have to be avoided, of course, and with the great punished with the greatest possible sanction before it's too late.
Generally, however, it is going to be too late, and all the planned measures, everything that has been set up in advance, will not have an effect. Our children, grandchildren will suffer because of our short-term profit motive. In a situation of this nature, we have to be aware of historical uh, debt that we permitted developments in the past that led to today's situation. And however pacifist a person may be, or however anti-nuclear a person may be, we may all feel justified. It would be better for us to shut all nuclear power stations down today rather than waiting for tomorrow. That's my urgent warning that I wish to give to you here at this Green Cross event. And I would like to present that to you at the beginning as the motto of this event. Better shut down the nuclear power stations today rather than tomorrow. I trust you're going to have a lot of food for thought during this event, ladies and gentlemen, with long-term effects. I'm sure it's something you owe yourselves and your descendants. I thank you for your kind attention.